actor Suraj Sharma was in Dallas recently for a screening of his new film, Amrika. He plays a young boy who leaves his family village to find his brother in the U.S. Amrika also garnered thunderous applause at the DFW SAF a few weeks ago. We rejoin festival director and ABS host Jitin Hingarani in his chat with the very down-to-earth actor. We're talking about physical roles, you, were, you had a lot of physicality in the million dollar arm as well. Did you grow up playing? Uh, no. Uh, I played baseball on the Wii once, that's about it. I didn't play too much cricket. I played it for a couple of years and then I moved to football and that became my stronghold. Um, but yeah, we went to training for that too. Um, you know, this one again was very good for us because of the fact that the real people were there. Not uh, Rinku, my character, but Dinesh and uh, Amit, uh, everybody else, right? Um, who was there in real life. They helped with the training. They gave us the same training that they did when they first got there. Um, we had a, you know, a baseball coach, two of them, they were amazing people. And so in Delhi, we found this little medan and uh, we, just, we just trained there, uh, you know, towel drills and everything. Um, again, that was like quite a different experience. How long has it been like that? About a minute. Is he gonna throw? I have no idea. Is that right, 82 with that motion? Is that even possible? I'm lefty with juice, you don't see that every day. Was there any additional pressure given that these guys were real people versus playing, you know, creating a character? Yeah, there's a responsibility that goes with that. Um, but again, blessing, uh, the real Amit um, recorded everything. So we had this abundant amount of footage to watch. Um, I didn't meet Rinku until much later in the film when post shooting because of the fact that Rinku is a very different human being now. Completely changed, right? Almost seems like a, not Rinku. Um, the Rinku before was a different person. He was pretty uh, confident, but very nervous. Di you know, Gaoka uh, didn't know English, um, didn't know baseball, and very timid in his approach, but at the same time really taking everything in. So that Rinku is not the rin this Rinku. This Rinku is a different person. So. I used all the footage and everything uh, the two of them told me and helped me understand what this person was like and little insider's stories and stuff. Use that and try to make it happen. I want to talk about Homeland because I'm yeah. so curious. You know, we watched you in, in those six episodes and you were fantastic. Uh, your makeout scene with Claire Danes. <laughs> <laughs> what was that like? Uh, it was strange. Um, it was my first. Uh, it was my first kissing scene. Um, firstly, so you start with Ang Lee as a director. Yeah, you start know, with Claire crazy. Danes as your first makeout. I mean, does it get any better than that? Yeah, man. It's the people you work with. Uh, yeah. So she she guided me through that process, um, and uh, it went well. I think uh, it went well. Is she a good kisser? Yeah. <laughs> what else happened? When I was back in my room, Kiran showed up. What? Your friend from school? More than a friend. She was. Did you tell her that you're leaving? I didn't have to. She could just see. Did you say where you're going? That's why I think we need to leave now. Did you prefer TV over the films, or would you do more TV? Oh, yeah. I'd do both. I think um, TV has infinite potential right now, and more so than five years ago. Um, it's growing. Um, you know, you can delve more into a character, more into the plot, take it further. It's a stable employment. Um, and the people you meet, you get closer and closer to. So I, I love movies, and I will always want to be in movies, but I'm definitely looking to uh, TV shows. Ayan, those were your relatives that the Americans bombed. My family has just been killed. Please just leave me alone. Who's threatening you? Because I can protect you, Ryan. I can even get you out of Pakistan if that's what you want. You're at NYU, you're on a college campus. I'm sure you get hit on all the time by women, right? No, ma'am, I'm quite a strange, I'm a shadow person. I, I'm a shadow person. I like being in the shadows, but uh, yeah, that happens. Uh, I'd hope that happens not because I'm an actor, but just naturally. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, NYU is great for me like that, uh, in every way, actually. So. so are you seeing anyone special? I am, I am, I am. It's going pretty well so far, so yeah. Is she Indian? No. 
<laughs> Is she Claire Danes? No. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been interesting. But no, uh, no. She's just another kid in film trying to make movies like we all are. What's next for you? Tell our viewers what we can expect to see you in. Uh, so I just did this really sweet film called Burn Your Maps. Uh, it's like a heartwarming, like, kind of somewhere between a comedy and a drama, um, family-oriented. And I got lucky enough to work with uh, many great people, especially uh, Vera Farmiga, who's, who taught me so much about acting just by being next to her, you know. Micro-expressions like her, amazing. And Jacob Tremblay, the kid from Room, who's just a phenomenal human being, goes in and out of the scene, you know, realistic beyond. But there was one time when we were acting and none of us realized that we were doing it because he was being so real that we didn't know how to act back because it was too real. And he's like that, it's phenomenal. Um, so yeah, burn your maps. Hopefully that'll, it's in post-production now. Um, other than that, you know, I'm looking to things, hopefully things work out and I get to do some more stuff in India as well. Um, and otherwise I'm in film school, so I'm trying to do my own thing too, so. Ha <laughs>